This is a book called Crazy Hair Day by Barkland Salts Salzberg. Stanley Berman woke up early at Bald Eagle Elementary School was celebrating Crazy Hair Day and Stanley couldn't wait. They had celebrated Pajama Day, Twin Day, and Sixties Day. Stanley's favorite was Twin Day because he and his best friend Larry Finchard have worn, the, worn exactly the same thing. Stanley was right. He had rubber bands. He had stingling gel, and to make his hair perfect, Stanley had two cans of Halloween hairspray. Stanley's mother knew just what to do. She wrapped, she dipped, and to make his hair perfect, she sprayed Stanley's hair bright orange and blue. To dust said Stanley, I am a work of art. You are going to be late if you don't hurry, said his mother. In his hair, he gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, is going to be a day I will never forget. I bet Larry Fincher and I have the craziest hair in the whole school, Stanley thought. As he walked toward the classroom, he heard his teacher talking and remembered Mr. Winger said, Crazy hair day is. Next Friday, everybody stopped, everybody stared. Stanley felt sick. Larry Fincher said, is that a hairdo or a hair don't? Everybody left. Stanley ran to the bathroom. A few minutes later, Stanley ha heard someone come in. It's me, Larry Fincher, the Larry Fincher who just made fun of me in front of the whole class, asked Stanley. I was only teasing, said Larry. Some days you tease me too much, said Stanley. Mr. Winger said he wants me to try to be a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker said Larry, I'm supposed to bring you back to class. I'm not going, said Stanley. If you stay in here, you, you'll miss being in the class picture, said Larry. I thought that was next Friday, said Stanley. Crazy hair day is next Friday, said Larry. Today is school picture day. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. That, this, he said, is going to be a day I'll never forget. Larry Fincher suggested that Stanley tried washing his hair in the sink. It won't help, said Stanley. Halloween hair color lasts for days. Well, it really doesn't matter. It's only your hair, Larry told him. If you don't come out of here by the time math is over, I'm coming to get you. You can't stay in here all day.
It was re very quiet after Larry Hunter left, and Stanley wondered if maybe he could spend all day in the bathroom. He ate his lunch. He drew pictures. He even timed himself to see how fast he could flush all of the toilets. 22 and a half seconds. He should, he shouted, a new world record by me, Stanley Bourbon. Star Stanley had counted to 121, 122, 123 drops of water from a leaky faucet when Larry Hunter came back. Beep, time's up, let's go, Larry announced. Picture time. If I'm not in it, I'll look like the class weirdo, said Stanley. Remember 60s day when Mr. Winger had the flu but came in anyway, said Larry. He said the day wouldn't be the same if you weren't all together. You have to come, I'll give you five minutes. Larry Hinchard left, and Stanley Bourbon fought about Sixties Day when Mr. Winger had taught him all those great old songs. He remembered how on Pajama Day, everyone in his class had worn PJs and slippers. Then Stanley imagined what his class picture would look like in, would look like in, without him. He decided to go back to class from being nervous. Stan Stanley made up a song, Crazy Hair, Crazy Hair, How I Wish It Wasn't There. Stanley felt someone touch his shoulder. I was just coming to get you, said Larry Hunter. What if they laugh at me again, asked Stanley. Everyone will be fine. Larry whispered, I promise. Stanley stood in front of his class. Everybody stopped. Everybody stared. Stanley rolled the rubber bands in his hair. He gently tapped the tops of his spikes. This, he said, it's going to be a day I'll never forget. The end.